Hi, I'm Ed Sperling. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Semiconductor Engineering. I'm over at Cleosoft with Pedro Perez. We're going to talk today about the increasing complexity of designs and how to manage all the IP that's in there. So, Pedro, we've seen multi-billion transistor designs. They've got hundreds of IP blocks. How do you track all that stuff? What sort of problems are people running into? Indeed, we see this trend in the industry where projects are growing in complexity. So. IP reuse is a must. Uh, this, you're using these IPs that come from different teams in your company. The number of IPs in these projects is increasing and now suddenly you s face uh, yourself with a, a number of problems that are related to this increasing uh, complexity. One of these pro problems is the fact that each one of these IPs might be stored and implemented using different standards, different formats. Now suddenly you have all these different IPs that you need to use in a complex integrated project but you need to learn all these different systems and all these different standards to bring it together. So, so let's take a closer look. Let's do it. Pedro, what are we looking at here? This is the current state of the industry. So we are seeing projects that are growing in size, they are growing in complexity, and they are putting together lots of IPs that come from different origins, that come from different standards and are stored in different formats. So now you have an IP catalog that has a large number of IPs, and each one of these IPs might be stored uh, in a different database format using a different DM solution. The problem with this is that now when you want to put your engineers to work and you want to actually work on the project, you suddenly need to learn how to operate with each one of these systems in order to bring all the necessary components into your work area. Rather than swimming against the current, we um, offer you a solution called Hub, which acts as an interoperability layer that puts all these different systems and standards together and rather than you worrying how each one of these operates, you just use Hub, and Hub is able to talk to each one of these and bring everything closer and together. That becomes critical as we get into the chiplet world, right? Yes, indeed. As, uh, as these uh, applications bring more and more IPs together, uh, IP reuse is a must. However, as I mentioned, and especially for uh, large companies that have lots of the, that have different teams working uh, in their intellectual property, and perhaps companies that even bring third-party IPs uh, into their own system, uh, it's important to have a way to integrate all these systems together. So Hub acts indeed as that layer uh, because you don't have to worry about why how each one of these systems operates. Uh, you just use Hub, and it brings it all together. Where are you finding the most traction for this kind of technology? Well, a good example is, for example, automotive that suddenly has to bring all these IPs together. These IPs are most commonly brought from third-party providers, so they don't really know uh, the formats of these IPs. Neither they care about interacting with these uh, third-party solutions. They just want uh, a simple way to bring this third-party IP, regardless of the format and the standard, into their own project. In addition to that, we're finding chips that are supposed to last for 20 years, 25 years sometimes. This is essential for keeping track of all those things over time because sometimes even the personnel that knew about this changes, right? So Hub, at its core, it's a mechanism, it's a platform that allows you to manage the life cycle of an IP. So indeed, you see these IPs that have a long shelf life, so to speak, and you, are absolutely, uh, you absolutely need to keep track of these different IPs and specifically you need to keep track of different iterations of these IPs across time for multiple reasons. First of all, well, you want to make sure that you, you are aware of where that IP comes from and, uh, you know, the development effort that has put into the IT, the IP. But you also want to preserve across time where and how this IP is being utilized. Because then later, when there is a new iteration of this IP, you want to make sure that all the interested stakeholders on that IP are notified and properly informed that a new version of the IP has come along. Is it all just about IP or is there other stuff that has to be kept track of as well? That's a great point. It's not about. It's not just about the IP. In fact, Hub provides you with a, with a platform that integrates all the artifacts that surround the IP, besides the IPs themselves. So we're talking about support documentation. We're talking about specification documents. We're talking about all these artifacts that support the implementation and development and the life cycle of the IP that, that Hub also manages within itself. So what comes next? Well, what comes next is that your, uh, the tool that you use to manage your, your IPs no longer uh, is useful if it's just there to provide an IP catalog for you. In fact, you want an integrated solution that brings together different tool sets, that brings together methodology, that brings together project management features. What's the underlying motivation for all this? 
So the underlying motivation is this growing need of bringing together heterogeneous tool sets, IPs, uh, people that are working in the projects into, into complex system, system endeavors that can no longer be tackled by a single team or a single company and require a unified platform to handle all the corners of the project. Pedro Perez, thanks for a great explanation. Thank you so much for having me, Ed.